a hospital without the nurse. Uh, they are the backbone um, of the facility. It's National Nurses Week and this year is particularly important. This week is showcasing the strength of nurses and other health care workers during an incredibly challenging pandemic year. With Mother's Day on Sunday, Sierra Shipley tonight has a heartwarming story about a mom-daughter duo working as nurses together in Temple. Melissa Renner knew she wanted to be a nurse when her brother got into a major car accident when she was 15 years old. And now her daughter Lainey is beginning in the same role that she started in. It takes a lot of courage, strength and love to become a nurse. It's a very, very rewarding career. Melissa Renner is the director of ambulatory nursing at Baylor Scott and White McLean Children's Medical Center in Temple. They can be sick and have some you know, a, a terminal diagnosis and they're still living day to day and every day is a new day. 20 years ago, this is Renner at her nurse's pinning ceremony, being pinned by her daughter Lainey. And Renner got to return that favor as she pinned Lainey nine months ago. I remember her getting her BSN, her MSN. I'll watch her get her doctorate soon, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and I wanted, I wanted to go through that too. She didn't have to choose to work at McLean Children's Hospital with her mom. In fact, she had four job offers out of college, but there was something about staying by her mom's side. I've been away for five years. Honestly, I picked because I missed my mom. <laughs> They share the same last name and started in the same career, but both are making sure Lainey's path is different from her mom's. It's important for me that she has her own identity. I want to be my own person. Renard has celebrated many nurses weeks. And I think it's a little bit more fun this year because I get to share it with her. And with Mother's Day Sunday, Renard couldn't be more proud to be Lainey's mom. Nurses impact so many lives daily, but Renard says what her patients probably don't know is that they impact the nurses and hospital staff just as much, if not more. In Temple, Sierra Shipley, 25 News.